all right guys welcome back to another video in this video we got a lot of exciting stuff because we've got everything we need to complete our big turbo e46 all right so first things first got our d schwerks dw200 series pump we've got um our big boy injectors we've got um some an lines it's fitting stuff in there we've got a new ICV kit and boot, which I'm gonna install. We've got some injector spacers, which we need. Awesome stuff. We've got our precision turbo waste gate. Check that out, some serious stuff right here. So that's our waste gate we're gonna be running. It's precision turbo, 38. It's actually a 39 millimeter, but it bolts up to a 38. Heater core delete kit, it's pretty simple. Two plates and uh, some gummy bears, gotta love that. I'll be eating those when I'm installing this later. And of course, you can't forget big girl right here. So, much bigger than our last turbo. This one is a GT35 7086. Our last one was quite a bit smaller than this, but she's pretty sweet. This is their Stage 3 CX Racing Turbo. They've been doing some research, and I've heard they've been developing a pretty decent turbo for the price. So, went ahead and grabbed it. It's pretty cool. It says CX Racing on it. Yeah, 86 uh, turbine housing. That's about it. The only thing we're waiting on is the MAF, which should be coming in anytime soon. So once we get that in, we'll have the MAF wired up. We're gonna wire up the fuel pump, gonna hook up the wastegate onto the manifold, rewrap the manifold and heat wrap, hook up all of our cold side stuff, put our injectors on our manifold, um, put the turbo on, put the lines on, heater core delete kit, a couple other things, guys, and then she'll be ready for a tune. Just gotta install some gauges, like some boost gauges, maybe an oil pressure gauge. Um, but I can see all that via the computer on live data logging. So yeah, let's freaking get into it. All right, so I'm starting on the heater core delete kit. So you'll have to take your manifold off, but uh, it'll be these two hoses, the top hose to the uh, reservoir, and then this top hose that comes off the block. So that will all disappear, clear up you some more room in there. If you're not using AC, you don't need it and it'll give you a better coolant path throughout the engine. So I'm gonna snap to that right after we get it done. It's gonna be one piece there, one piece there, and that's it, and boom. Anyways, once you delete all of this though, you can see you're gonna have all this room. I mean, there's not really much in the, in the way anymore besides this master harness here and the dipstick. Um, this comes with a cool little cap off here. Then you got the little cap off there. You've also got a 1/8 MPT port right here. Uh, if you want to run like a water temp sensor or something like that. I'm just gonna leave it blocked off for now because I can see water temp on the computer via live data logging. So don't really need a water temp sensor right now, but I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and get the wastegate kind of mounted up, fit the header up in here, make sure the wastegate clears. So I think it's a little bigger than that eBay one we had. All right, so header is re-wrapped. We do have the precision wastegate bolted up, locked in place, and this pipe is not secure, but this is essentially how it will be, except we're actually going to side dump out of the fender. Unfortunately for this side of the engine, I gotta wait on a new pipe. Now. So I gotta order that pipe, put around all of our coolant and oil lines for the turbo. So there's actually a drain, it's right up under here. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, it's actually right there. It's a little hard to see. That's an M14 by 1.5. Um, so that is what I will connect one of the coolant lines to the turbo with. And then I'm also got a coupler coming in that will fit on here that uh, will feed a, a dash 6 AN line onto here to, uh, you know, drain the coolant back into the line. Should be cruising here soon. Um, I'll get to remove this crappy fitting that on there. I don't know if I showed you guys the manifold yet, but I actually did end up going and tapping these 3 8 barbs in here. That way I can have uh, like a reference point for the boost gauge, my fuel pressure gauge. Um, I got two more, one for waste gauge if I ever want to run it. And then one for uh, this little vent thing for the uh, fuel tank. So got those all tapped in. Got the boost, boost proof ICV uh, fillet piece on there. You know, it's all coming together. We got a nice little intercooler here. 
We've got a turbo inside. I'm really just waiting on the MAF. Get the MAF here, we can wire in the MAF. Um, with these aftermarket MAFs, you do have to come in here and uh, take off this harness and cut these wires. It'll come with a new connector, but uh, essentially you run the three that are important up to this, and you run one more ground to the body down there, and then the other two you leave untapped. It's a PMAS HPX 30, I think. I will link it in the description, or if you guys are wondering, just ask me. I'll, oops. I'll shoot it on the comments to you guys. So we'll get turbo fitted up, we'll get manifold fitted up. I've got a big old mess to clean up from the coolant spill. All right guys, so what I'm about to do is take the springs that are in here out of here because they are currently probably running about 26 pounds of boost, I believe. And we're gonna put in some springs to run right around 10 to 12 pounds of boost. Now, if we wanna run 12, it's yellow and green. If we wanna run 10, it's uh, gray and green. So I think to be safe for now, we're gonna run a 10 PSI spring. That way we can get 10 pounds out of it and just push 10 pounds. So I'm gonna need the gray and the green screen uh, spring. So as you can see, the green spring is not in here, but the gray one is. It is this guy, that's the natural spring. So we're gonna put in this natural spring with the green spring that's already in there and take out the red spring. much harder than I looked to do by myself. That green spring does not play around, even though the green spring is only 9.4 and the red is 5.6. So actually it was only like 18 PSI in there. Maybe 15, 16 PSI, but still we only want 10 PSI. So we're gonna run these two springs. I'm gonna use the assistance of my roommate to get this back on because that was not fun whatsoever. All right, wastegate is all mounted up, sealed with our crush washers, our gasket. She's looking beautiful and nice. Precision turbo wastegates. So let's get this thing plopped in the car and uh, get that completely bolted down. Get a turbo on there to mock up lines. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. Boom. She's on. So I made the drain line right there. As you can see, that actually runs there and then goes down to the oil pan there. So we've got the turbo mocked in place. We've got our wastegate in place. Um, I am hitting a little bit right here, so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to cut this out some more to get my V-band on there, but I am waiting on my flange, my gasket for that and my uh, up pipe with a V-band. Other than that, just still waiting on some other parts. Uh, yeah, it's a mess in here. I can't wait for this to be done. My OCD is going crazy. But other than that, it's looking good guys. Big Turbo E46 is about to roll in. Alrighty guys, it's getting a little late, so I'm gonna call it a night, but we have everything hooked up and locked up. Oil feed line is in. Same down here. We've got our coolant uh, feed from the block there. We've got our coolant return down to our hose, which is right there. So making progress, good on that part. I also uh, cut out this right here so we could actually run this down. Um, but I put the plastic back as you can see, so I'll just have to cut the plastic out. Cut a little bit more out of there to fit a two inch pipe out of there. And we can two inch to three inch that to the intercooler. Together, we're pretty close to finishing this baby out. Got to get a 45 uh, degree coupler there, 45 degree coupler here. And our intercoolers are connected, but been hustling off camera pretty hard. We got everything all hooked back up. Got the catch cam back in, the manifold back on. We got our new line all the way on. Our intake man, our intake piping. We got to uh, wire the map in, wire the fuel pump in, put the injectors on. Got all of our oil feed, coolant lines. Everything is connected. We just got to get our flange welded onto our up pipe, 
cut some holes in the hood and the fender and she's ready for a tune. Well, the process of wiring in that all of our gauges has started. We got the AFR gauge on the way. Gonna wire in all these, one more boost gauge, and we'll have our six total gauges. And also I'm gonna cut this out so that my tablet fits in here because it actually fits in between this perfectly. So just gonna cut this out so it sits in a little more flush and uh, we'll pretty much have a whole center here without really having to do much. We have three gauges in here, three on top here. Um, the tablet here and uh, in our little cover here, we should be good. It's gonna look good video, but we do have most of our gauges installed. I'm still gonna get another boost gauge. Got them all wired up via a switch. Flip the switch on. And our AM gauge comes on, obviously. And then if you look, we got lights on all of these. So I'll get the uh, water temp wired up, oil temp, or oil pressure wired up, uh, AFR hooked up, voltage wired up, and I'll get another boost gauge. It looks really good like this, really flush mounted. Um, wires I'm gonna wrap together, but kind of a little hole in the airbag thing. Ran them through the back back here. And I've got my tablet flush mounted up against here. Just gonna trim out a little bit underneath here. And we're good to go. Then I'll be able to slide that little plate into here to cover up the wires. And um, yeah, I'm thinking of adding a little uh, crown roll bag here as a shifter knob or as a shifter boot. But um, other than that, we're cruising on our way to get tuned. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, and uh, I'll leave you guys with some teasers because we're going to be tuned very soon. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.